हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम to i exam b please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon in this video i will talk about the cb grade a research officer examination and the notification would be expected by january so you do not have plenty of time this is the appropriate time to start the preparation if you haven't already done so in this session we will talk about the eligibility conditions the exam pattern the syllabus and the books that you can refer and what should be your preparation strategy for the upcoming examination so eligibility is masters degree in, in statistics economics commerce business administration with specialization in finance econometrics from any of the recognized university and the exam pattern so the exam pattern is conducted in three phases this so was exam is conducted in three phases first phase is your online examination wherein there are two papers paper 1 and paper 2 paper 1 is for the all all the streams which has uh, questions on qri quant reasoning english as well as the general awareness questions so there are 80 questions given to you you have one hour to answer these questions and maximum marks is 100 and the, there is a separate cut off for this particular paper which is 30% and paper 2 under research stream will have questions on economics econometrics statistics finance and commerce so here you are given 50 questions and you have 40 minutes to answer these questions and the cut off for this particular paper is 40% and maximum marks is given as 100 so the separate cut offs is 30% and 40% respectively for paper 1 and paper 2 and aggregate cut off is 40% to clear the phase 1 online examination and there are negative marking half of the mark is deducted for any wrong answer that you choose so uh, then once you qualify the cut off uh, for phase 1 you are shortlisted for phase 2 here and the phase 2 you have uh, again there are two papers paper 1 is of english descriptive test where you have 1 hour to answer these questions the cut off is 30% and the maximum marks is 100 there are questions on essay prose writing and uh, reading comprehension then paper 2 has uh, again uh, the same syllabus the uh, questions on economics econometrics statistics finance and commerce you are given 50 questions here and the time is 40 minutes maximum marks are 100 and the separate cut off for this particular paper is 40% and aggregate cut off that you need to score for phase 2 is 50% so there are separate cut offs for both the papers and the aggregate cut off as well and here also there is a uh, negative marking half the mark is deducted if you are choose any answer incorrectly so the weightage for paper 1 is 1/3 whereas the weightage for paper 2 is 2/3 uh for your selection for your interview round so once you clear the phase 2 you're shortlisted for interview and the marks for interview as well as phase 2 are added for the final selection so note here marks for uh phase 1 is not included for final selection phase 1 is just qualifying for phase 2 it does not count for your final selection final selection marks are only included for phase 2 and interview round phase 2 has a weightage of 85% whereas interview has a weightage of 15% marks now the syllabus for this particular exam is economics you have under micro demand and supply and market structures these are very basic topics then under macro you have national income determination of output and employment both in asian and classical framework investment functions multiplied accelerated demand and supply for money islm inflation and phillips curve business cycles uh, inflation monetary and fiscal policy and non banking financial institutions then under public economics you have public goods tax direct and indirect taxes progressive and non progressive taxation the effects of tax and the incidence of tax public expenditure public debt public budget and the budget multiplier then under statistics and econometrics you have topics like measures of central tendency dispersion correlation sampling methods and distribution statistical inferences hypothesis testing and regression analysis then international economics has topics like balance of payments forex markets role of international financial institutions bis ios co imf and world bank then financial markets has topics like asymmetric information market model market efficiency primary market secondary market commodity markets mutual funds stock exchanges depositories clearing corporations credit rating agencies corporate debt market forward futures options hedging speculation and arbitrage so these are the uh, very detailed syllabus for the examination is given to you now if you look at the books that you should refer is here under economics portion you can refer macroeconomics uh, by hl huja 
public economics can be done by Ajal Bhatia. Statistics can be referred by S.C. Gupta. Econometrics can be done through Gujarati. International economics, Salvatore is the best book. And for financial markets, either of M.V. M. Y. Khan or Bharti Patak will cover most of the topics in the syllabus. So books can be kept as a base uh, if you want to, to further your you know, understanding. And also we have a course for CB research if you want to have guidance from iExam B. Right now we have uh, this up to 90% off on all the online courses. You can check out our website and get more clarification about the course and various other details. If you have any other queries, you can call on this number or you can also email at particular this email ID. Thank you.